Merry Vlogmas! The other way around. Yes. <laughs> so it's, it's like a mirror image, but not. Yes. Yes. So, Miss Mary. Yes, Vlogmas Mary. I yeah. like it because it's probably the closest you'll get to Vlogmas from him. Um, <laughs> Mary Vlogmas from I him. Don't know. It's after my birthday, isn't it? Ah, uh, you work, <gasps> working up to it now. I'm warming up now. Who knows? Yeah. 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 yeah, it will make one of your Christmas presents a little bit less appropriate if you do start behaving yourself. Though. <laughs> oh right. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm not conforming. No, it's uh, Sunday, so no post on Sundays. Day twelve. I yep. filled mums today. Oh, so it's a surprise. Oh, yeah. Right. We like surprises. It's yeah. my favourite colour. Yay! Very pretty. But it's clearly one that you've used quite a lot because yes. there's not a lot um, left on yes, that one. Yes, I used that a lot in um, the qu uh, peacock quilt. Peacock quilt. Yes. Very pretty. I think we've managed to skip a day ahead with Dad's calendar. We, Dad and I, got a little over. Well, we're getting good at sleuthing. And we sleuthed. Yes. Yeah. We were a little worried Don't about know. the one that we had to do this morning, but it said it was doable in three moves. But I think we each worked out a move, uh, didn't move. we? We did it yeah. in three. Yeah. Very yeah. impressed with ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. So my turn. My turn. My turn. Oh, does it work this way round? <laughs> it's, it's a hole in a box. Oh, nearly ended up. Right. Twelve. Are we oh. on, we're on day 12. Yes, we're on day 12. 12. Right at the front. Oh, it's a squishy one. It's a squishy one. You like squishy one? Yes. Ooh. What I say? Oh, That's that a Christmassy sort of. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. mm. Actually, that fits very in very much with this. This, um, oh. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. They the are clue. very pretty. Thank you. I like the 3D as well. They've got like layers. layers. Lots of layers. Oh, they're lovely. Thank you so much. Wow. Yeah. It's a lucky bunny. Yes. Yes. So um, I've just done a two hour hangout with the peeps. I've got a Sheridan sweater cut out during that time. You're currently making a cake. I'm making a chocolate keto tort. Fancy. So I've been making pastry with nuts. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And what have you been up to, pub to pub? I've been um, clearing out, remaking it, and lighting it, actually. Very it's nice. very pleasant indeed. I was saying earlier and as well, he came down early and turned the heater on for one hour and a half before I got down wasn't here. Wasn't I kind? He's it's a toasty yeah. one. Daddy. And it's now hotter than it should be. I you you put it up to 23 and I've turned it down to 20 oh. before it got to, it, it was on 20 on there. Okay. So, I because I, I, I got to the point where I was like, well, I'm toasty yeah. warm now, yeah. so yes. And I'm off to two carol services, one this afternoon and one this evening. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder you don't have any time to do anything. I Everyone know. was admiring your cats during the hangout as oh, well. Oh, lovely. So, Thank yes. you. I'm yes. glad you like them. I think I'm quite proud of them, They're actually. Very nice. Yes. yes. Might do more cats. Yes. Mm. Somebody asked if I was getting one because it was my fabrics, but no. <laughs> Susan. Are there no. Christmas decks up there? Yeah. Right. <laughs> We've had some more Christmas decorations. Yeah. So Wednesday they come up. Okay, cool. Wednesday, we should be mm. decorating the tree, so you'll be seeing that on Thursday. Yep. Busy Bee. When are you going to Busy Bee? We made a decision. Tuesday, probably. Yes, because I have my colours done on Wednesday, so yeah. I'm here on Wednesday, so I cannot go out on Wednesday. Right, so probably Tuesday And I won't be able afternoon. to help decorate the tree on Wednesday. Well, well so I'm just going to make sure we've got everything out. Right, so we'll do that there. Thursday. Okay, yeah. that's all right then. So yes. it'll be Tuesday afternoon, because in the morning I'm pilates -ing. Yes, busy yes, bee. Okay. yes. I've busy. got an order for you. Yeah, get, you want some new lights, don't you? Yes. 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 I can get them online, but they won't be here in time. No, Royal Mail have now said that anything that gets, gets posted is not guaranteed to get there before Christmas. No, no. All our poke Christmas cards will be They're next coming. year, but They're that's coming. Have they got stamps nice. on? Yes, you did that. Yeah. But that'll be nice. Mm. Yeah. People yeah. have a nice... We, we, were get, we were getting stuff into January. Yeah, are sure. we rambling on? Yeah. Well, we then, are, yeah, we are. Yeah. But that's fine because today's Vlogmas is going to be very short if we don't ramble. So, you know, feel free. I'll get back to my errands. You may. Quick Chores. ramble is good. Yes. Yeah. Okay. See you later. Bye. Bye. Okay. Hello. I wanted to try and show you this print. It is absolutely amazing. Um, there you go. You can kind of see there. There's a giant tiger face on it honestly this is this is amazing it's really lovely quality cotton jersey and i want to make the 7319 pattern with it but there's two of these on each side and i have to cut pieces of that pattern out on the fold i've decided to just embrace the craziness and place the pattern pieces on the best way that i can and i think because it's such a crazy print it's gonna work 
<laughs> that's my theory the one thing i'm going to try and avoid is this very obvious line here so there's two um under bodice pieces that get cut on the fold but i think i'm just going to try and embrace the craziness of this and just try not to end up with an eyeball on a boob but other than that i'm not going to try and make a feature of the face i think it's going to look awesome the other one that i've got is a peacock print which is much more obvious what it is so i'm not sure i'm going to get away with it as much as i will with this one but that's the plan and it'll be nice to get these used because i saw them and i needed them and as i say duvalo very kindly sent them over from lithuania for me they have just been in the stash intimidating me so let's get them cut out and get them used i think they're going to look amazing okay i managed to get the dress out of that previous sort of cat face fabric and i haven't prioritized the cats at all but i have the peacock one here let me just tip you down a little bit okay this is absolutely beautiful but it does have an absolutely ginormous peacock face in the front of it and i'm a little bit worried that the same approach or the approach that i used with the other one of just like put the pieces on and see won't work i do have the same amount i've got three panels so technically i should be able to fit the dress pieces on but it's not even a symmetrical print it's an asymmetric print i am not sure what to do about this one this is going to be interesting because i need to cut at least two of the panels set the skirt panels on this on a center fold i don't know how i feel about having a giant peacock head at um a butt and crotch level uh how else do you do this because i mean if you weren't prioritizing you can't have the head upside down i yeah i'm i'm a little i'm a little bit unsure what to do with this one i think this one is going to need a bit more planning what would you guys do with this one because it's 150 wide it's a really wide fabric but i genuinely and i mean look at the size of the peacock this is a big peacock and it does have the white lines between the two panels. What would you guys do with this? Should I take a panel for myself and do like a really basic t-shirt? I mean, how do we feel about, let me tip you back up so we can see how we feel about the giant peacock on the front. Should I do a baggy kind of t-shirt out of this? Oh, I don't know. I think if I had, if I had a lot more of this to play around with and could really kind of be careful about print placement for the overlays for the dress i think i would get away with it a bit more but because it's i because i've only got the three panels and i need all of this fabric to get that dress out of out of because it is a kind of fabric hungry dress i don't think that's going to work i can't do one of my other dresses the 9199 because the the white stripes that go through it would they would just yeah i don't know answers on a postcard guys what would you do with this i mean should i just make pjs out of it what should i do with this what should i do with my giant peacock <laughs> I really don't know. I think my other dress that I've just cut out is going to work really well. I'm really confident in that one because whilst it has got giant cat faces in it, they weren't so like hyper realistic as these. They were an impression of, but these are hyper realistic giant peacocks. What does what do you do with a hyper realistic giant peacock? This one's going to have to go back into the stash until I've worked out what to do with it because I don't want to ruin it. It's beautiful fabric. I'm going to be really interested to hear what you guys suggest for this one i'm gonna fold it back up and put it away i mean you, you you guys know why i picked it because i couldn't not have this because it is just absolutely stunning and the colors are my favorite colors but i have absolutely no idea what to actually do with it so let me know in the comment section what you guys would do with the giant peacocks inquiring minds want to know so i think the next thing to do is alter the pattern for the rider bomber jacket to shorten it so that it will be cropped the way i like and then i can get that cut out and then all of my knit projects will be cut out and ready to be sewn my giant pile over here which is very exciting pleased with that very pleased with that i'll be back in a minute to show you how i get on with that okay just 
been and had a dinner with mum and dad. It was steak with kind of sesame vegetables. It was very delicious. And I have cut out the three quarter circle skirt from my wool. So I will have a two piece to wear, hopefully by the end of the month. I am going to call it a night now though. It is half past six and I'm gonna go edit this, chill with Chi, kind of just generally have a relaxed Sunday evening because it's been a very busy day but a very good day. I have ironed all the pattern pieces for the paper cut bomber jacket, Rigel bomber jacket, but I need to shorten them all. I'm not in the mood for that at the moment so yeah like I say I'm gonna call it a night, go sit with Chi, come back tomorrow, do that. I'm gonna cut into it. I am going to cut into the velvet fabric. I think it's gonna be good and if it's not Somebody's going to get a very nice jacket. So, yeah, I think it's going to work though. I, ha I have faith. <laughs> I have faith. Don't do as I do. <laughs> do as I say, not as I'm showing you. <laughs> <laughs> always make a muslin but yeah i'm really pleased with the progress of this little lot really going to be interested to hear what you guys would do with those ginormous peacock panels because i am at a loss i am really at a loss with what to do with them but yeah let me know in the comment section down below what you would do with them on that note i hope you've enjoyed today's vlogmas and i will see you tomorrow for more calendar fun and some final cutting out of knit projects which is very exciting bye Thank you.